Meet Bob. No words, no language, just thoughts locked in his head. Tonight, Bob sees something he's never seen before, a flicker, a glow, fire. He wants to share it. He wants to warn, to explain, to say what he's seen, but he can't because words don't exist yet. So here's the mystery. How did humans like Bob think before language? Inside Bob's mind, thoughts aren't words. They're pictures. When he sees fire, his brain throws up images. Flames burning his skin, meat cooking, the sun glowing overhead. It's like watching a movie in his head. No subtitles, just scenes. And you felt this too. Ever wake from a dream where everything was so clear, but you had no words for it? That's Bob's mind, 24-7. But pictures only take him so far. Now the feelings kick in. Fear races through him. Danger. Curiosity whispers. Get closer. Excitement pushes. Try it. For early humans, emotions weren't just feelings. They were survival tools. Fear meant run. Curiosity meant explore. Love meant stick together. Bob doesn't need words to feel, but emotions can clash. Fire is scary and fascinating. Without words, his mind is a storm. Bob has to tell his tribe, so he points. He grunts, Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. He waves his arms wildly. The tribe looks puzzled. Some laugh, some panic. But slowly, they get it not through words, through gestures, grunts, and shared looks. This is how communication began. A stomp for danger, a hand wave for follow me, a grunt for food. Crude, imperfect, but enough to survive. Here's where it gets amazing. Over generations, these sounds and gestures grew more precise. A grunt wasn't just noise anymore. It carried meaning, and once humans had labels, Thoughts became sharper, not just picture of fire plucked as feeling of fear, but fire equals danger. Language turned blurry thoughts into clear ideas. It allowed planning, storytelling, teaching. It turned tribes into civilizations. Here's the twist. We still think like Bob sometimes. When you daydream in pictures, when you act on a gut feeling, when you can't put emotions into words, that's the Bob inside you. Language shaped our world, but thought itself? It came first. And animals today, your dog, a chimp, even birds, they probably still think in pictures and feelings just like Bob once did. And now that Bob finally has words, he's got one more thing to say. Subscribe to Chronicos. Because history isn't just what happened, it's how we learn to think.